Hey guys, welcome back to another quarantine photography episode. And in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out macro photography. Now, this is something that I have never done. Um, so the results of today may vary. They might be okay, they may not. I'll leave that up to you to decide. So I have already taken four photos from things within my house. And what I'm doing is a little test for you guys to see if you can work out what they are. So the four objects on the screen now that are labeled one, two, three, and four, comment below with one and your answer, two and your answer, three and your answer, and four and your answer, and tell me what you think they are. And then at the end of the video, we'll see whether or not you are correct. If you guys wanna get involved, then use the hashtag optical wonder, because tomorrow I'm gonna be recording a video of me going through that hashtag and reviewing your work. Um, so if you want me to review and possibly get a little bit of exposure on this channel, then go and tag some of your stuff with the hashtag optical wonder, and then possibly I'll use that in tomorrow's video that I'm gonna record, which will be going live on Thursday. So let's get on with the shoot and see how well they turn out. Um, yeah, we'll see how they go. Just set up this light here. Oh, right, let's check that exposure. Ooh. Okay, so like I just explained, um, I'm gonna do a few things with macro photography. I have, honestly, I've never done this properly before, so I'm gonna give it a go and give it my best shot. The first one that I'm going to be taking a photo of is some bubbles, these. And it's really simple to, to get the bubbles. Get a bit of fairy liquid, um, washing up liquid, or some bubbles from the bathroom or something. Um, put a little bit of water in a bowl. I don't know if you can see that without me spilling it out. Um, and then get a straw and just blow. And there you go. So I am going to set it down here. I have put a black background like I did the other day for the high shutter speed dropping in a gin glass shot. If you didn't see that, then it's here. Um, and what I'm gonna do with this is because I don't actually have a macro lens, I'm going to take my Sony a7 III with a 50 millimeter 1.8. Um, I'm using the 1.8 because it's the sharpest lens that I have. Um, and then I'm going to have to crop it in in post and that's the only way that I can do it at the moment. I do have a little trick for anybody watching this, so stay till the end and I'll give you that trick because it's a, a cool little simple tip that I can give you and uh, yeah, I think you'll like it. Okay, right, let's blow these bubbles back up and uh, let's give this a go. Why have I never done this before? <laughs> Ooh, that is tasty. It's so cool how you can see the the, the chemicals. I don't know what, what you would how you describe that, but how they're moving like on the edge of the bubble. Ooh. Colours! Colours! More in there. Pop, 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 pop. Hey, do you know what? I'm really happy with this. I mean, for something I've never tried before, I, uh, I, I actually really enjoyed that. All you need is a straw, a plate or a bowl, water and some soap, um, and then a lens that preferably is a macro lens, but it's not essential. You can take photos without it being a macro lens. So let's replace this plate here with a, with a cut orange. Um, and the reason I went with the cut orange is because inside oranges, as you well know, or any citrus fruit, there's loads of layers. Um, and I just thought that the texture of the inside of the orange would be pretty cool. So, let's see if my theory was correct and see how it turns out. Ooh, <laughs> that is tasty. 
Oh my god. Pretty happy with the uh, the orange one. I'm now going to uh, consume set orange so it doesn't get a waste. Um, and the next one I'm going to do is going to be a uh, an avocado. Okay, I feel like this one's going to be pretty easy to do. Um, so I'm going to get this one done. Nice. Looks weird, just as I thought. Um, right, I mean, they're all of the ones that I have done today. Let's uh, jump into the end and have a look at them and uh, you can vote on which one is your favourite. They all turned out pretty good and I'm actually uh, fairly, fairly happy with how they turned out. Now, having a macro lens would be optimum and would be amazing. However, sometimes that is not the case and sometimes we only have to use what we have in, at our disposal. So, a little tip that I worked out was if you have a DSLR, uh, which, I, which is my old camera. You can't do this with mirrorless cameras, um, but there is a way you can do it. Just, I'll explain. So if you have a DSLR and you only have a 50 mil lens, then, you know, it's pretty good. I mean, you can crop in like I said, or, so all you have to do, DSLR cameras now, take off lens like so, turn it around and shoot like that. I did actually do this in, in the video, did you catch it? Because it's here. Um, different lenses will vary. Um, so if you have a DSLR and you have a bunch of lenses, have a play around, see if it works. It's a cool little trick. Um, it does also work if you have a DSLR lens with a mirrorless camera, you can hold up the 50 mil to the camera, uh, to the mirrorless camera, um, and then it also works, which is what I did earlier. It's a cool little tip. And you can also, little side note, you can also do that with your phone, just as a as a as another side note. For whatever reason, I don't know why this would be a situation if you just have a lens. Nothing else, just a lens and your phone. You can pop it on the back and have a little macro macro phone lens. True fact, did it earlier as well. Um so let's have a look to see how they turned out. The first one which was the bubbles. Um, firstly, it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna pick up my camera and take a picture of some bubbles and I would zoom in and, and happy days, see you later. Thanks guys, no, but no, no, no. That's not how it went down. It was fun, I enjoyed doing it. It was a learning curve, a vast curve, but it was a learning one at that. Um, and the results turned out pretty cool. I mean, I, let me know what you think. I really enjoyed the colors and how the colors look on this one. Um, and the way that you can kind of see the, the chemicals working and doing their things. I don't know how, what you would, how you'd call it. I don't know what you'd call it, but you can see things moving when you're looking at it, especially through the back of the live view. It's really cool. Like it's really strange and really cool to look at. Okay, the second one was a citrus delight of an orange. Um, that one again turned out pretty cool. I did the the inside and then the outside as well. Both of which turned out fairly acceptable, I would say, um, for a first time try. I would love to actually invest in a proper macro lens with one of those scopes. You know what I mean? Those scopey things that like intrude into clothing and they, they look awesome. I'd love to buy one. And then the third one was a avocado, which turned out. I'm a little bit disappointed that I couldn't get a little bit closer to pull out the where that stalk hits the top there. Um, if I could, that would have been really cool. But live and learn. Um, so let's move on to the last bit to see if you got any of the answers right. So number one um, is a sponge. Yes, it's this here. Number one is the sponge that has just appeared on the screen. Number two is my shoe, um, literally just my shoe. Uh, number three is the broccoli and number four is a placemat. So comment below within your comment Let me know how many you got right if you got more than uh, three right then uh, well done uh, Because they you know they're quite if you don't know what they are They do look a bit random. They could be anything so I'm that was quite fun I enjoyed doing that if you guys do enjoy my content then please feel free to share it on both Instagram and on Facebook and tag me on Instagram with hashtag OpticalWonder and you can even tag my profile at OpticalWonder. Reach out if you wanna talk and if you are feeling lonely right now within this quarantine, then get up and create 
and let's chat. With that being said, create more, stress less, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.